The Enduraflow pump is available in two ratio options. The 4 to 1 for those customers who need extended pressures up to 400 PSI and a 3 to 1 option for customers who don't require that much pressure but want extended diaphragm life. This video will cover the 3 to 1 option. Before we review the air operation and take a closer look at the benefits of the 3 to 1 Enduraflow, let's review the theory of operation on the fluid side of the pump. The two diaphragms are connected together and driven in and out of the fluid section by the main piston. As this diaphragm is pulled out of the cavity, it creates a low pressure zone. That low pressure zone is going to allow fluid to come into the inlet check. When the diaphragm pushes back into the fluid cavity, it's going to close the inlet check and open the outlet check and the diaphragm is going to force all the fluid out. Keep in mind that while one diaphragm is loading fluid in, the other diaphragm is pushing material out. So they're working 180 degrees out of phase. This allows to have a smooth continuous flow of material. Okay, let's talk about the theory of operation on the air side of this pump. This is a 3 to 1 Enduraflow, and as I mentioned earlier, with a 3 to 1, you will get extended durability on the diaphragms with this pump. In the 4 to 1 diaphragm pump, we drive the movement of the diaphragms by energizing the main piston, as well as energizing the back side of the diaphragm. On the 3 to 1, we only energize the piston, and we're going to vent the back side of the diaphragm. The surface area on the piston is three times the area as compared to the diaphragm, resulting in a 3 to 1 ratio. When the piston contacts the poppet valve, it opens an exhaust port to one side of the air valve. The lower pressure in that side of the air valve will cause the air valve piston to shuttle over to the opposite side, moving the airflow and exhaust from one diaphragm to the other. That causes the diaphragm to switch its direction of travel. An additional benefit of the 3 to 1 is now being able to vent the back side of the diaphragm and divorcing it from the air valve. If the diaphragm ruptures, fluid will fill in behind the diaphragm. Fluid will then travel up and out the vent. Again, no possibility of fluid getting up into the air valve to contaminate the air valve. As fluid fills behind the diaphragm, it's also going to travel out this clear tube, giving the operator the visual indicator that a rupture has occurred. To contain that spill, the fluid will travel up to the vent, float the ball in the vent up to a seat, again, containing the fluid and containing the spill. This was a review of the 3 to 1 Enduraflow diaphragm pump used when the extended pressure of the 4 to 1 Enduraflow is not required, so you can enjoy the benefits of extended durability on the diaphragms. For more information on this pump and many others, visit www.graco.com.